Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen, boobs. Uh, it's a lovely spring day, and what we're looking at today is obviously the instrument panel. Suzuki GSX-F600, this is a 1999 one. The reason why I'm doing this video is I had a message asked from uh, somebody asking the, how to replace the bulb on the instrument panel. The good news is it's really easy to replace the bulb. Um, I believe it's this one on his instrument panel that's gone and for the MOT in this country if any of the bulbs, the warning bulbs don't work then you, you fail. So all you got to do is get your instrument panel there's a rubber doodle on the back. Twist it, pull it out, replace it, or test it, make sure it is that. And then you just twist that back on, put your rubber grommet back on, and that is it, job done. Uh, that's, it's that easy. The difficult part is getting to this. Unfortunately, you've got to take off all the fairings to get to your instrument panel. So um, I'm going to cut to the chase. I'm going to take all the fairings off because I've got to do some other work on the bike anyway. Um, so I'll take the fairings off and then we'll come back when we actually get to the part where we, we do the other bits that are needed to access this in order to change one sorting bulb. Okay? Okay, so that's the fairings are uh, completely removed and as you can see the screen is still attached here. Now there are a couple of plastic rivets, let's see if I can get in. Now these, they are fairly cheap so you can just smash them out if you want. Uh, but you can, let my bloody screwdriver back on, you can pop them out quite easily. Get yourself a screwdriver. And what we're going to do is just push the middle in, and it should just come out. Let me zoom out and show you. And that's it. And you can push that back to be able to reuse it. You just pop. It does one hand to show you. So that's what it should look like then, ready to be reused. So you have one here, one on the other side, the the dash. You've got one that's holding the um, screen on. There are also two here, one each side. I'm not sure if we'll be taking those off um, at the minute because this is like an ad hoc video. I can't remember if you take those out. So I'm just Pop these ones. You then have, oh, you will need to take those two out as well, okay. Do -do -do. I'm going to push that one too far. Right, there we go. Yeah, you can buy these plastic rivet things fairly cheaply so you know don't worry too much if you break them because you can replace them fairly easily. Now where these are, those two, underneath here there is a screw and you're not really gonna be able to see it. Where is that? Let's focus on it. Okay there and there's one on the other side. That's what's now holding this plastic dash bit in place. So using your, uh, if you've still got the toolkit that came with this particular bike, then this will be fairly straightforward. Right boy? What are you doing? Taking the dashboard off. Okay. There we are. So this then should be free just to come out. Okay. Now I've got a bit of an issue because I've got an LED connected um, 
my alarm so but if you don't have that then you can just lift this straight out and then behind here if you've got your main instrument try and get this round this rubber boot I'll just pull this back that's where the electrical connector is you can just pull that straight out there is um, I can't remember if there's a clip on this one yet there's a clip on the top and then it's disconnected okay now then next step to get to the instrument panel you have four of these one two three three of those I believe it's a 10 mil I'm just gonna get my uh, ratchet on there and double check for this I think three of those this may now look like shit because I'm holding this with one hand and ratcheting it with the other Okay. Should come off fairly easily. The other thing I'd say is when you do under these, be careful not to lose the um, washers. As I said, there's three of them, which you can't see, but you'll have to trust me that that's what I'm actually doing. Okay, one more. Let's hold the camera with one hand. And then once you've got those undone, you can then just pull your instrument panel out. And that is it. So then you get to unplug whichever one of those it is to get whichever bulb you need to do if you need to get into the gubbins like for example if you need to check um, if your fuel gauge is working or if you need to check your uh, odometer or the speedometer then you have two four six eight of these screws again the screwdriver from the um, toolbox uh, the toolkit that comes with the bike will undo for you and that, that's pretty much it. Um, see, easy, straightforward job. Your bulb is out, no problem. So if you do um, go to your bike dealership and you say to them, how much is it to change the indicator bulb? And they give you a stupid quote of say 120 quid. Now you understand why it's, uh, it costs that because it's a lot of hassle to, to get to that particular bit. So there we go, I'm David, you've been awesome and I shall catch you next time.